it's gone. From what I understand, you've got a little bit more on your mind. We've got a couple minutes between matches here. Why don't you let the folks know what's going on? I do have an announcement to make. All right. uh, my experiment, the uh, TV championship, the three-way dance, was very interesting. However, I feel it wasn't fair to Damian Black. He obviously wasn't a part of the outcome of the match, right. and I, he was the number one contender. Right. So I wanted to give him a proper chance. I wanted to give him a chance for the title at Dynasty. Dynasty? At Dynasty. First of all, let me say thank you. You're welcome. However, after three years of being in this company, it's a little bit too late. I'm all about fairness. I've been screwed every single time. Your little Christmas gift to AJ Punk after I won the Junior Heavyweight Championship? Pitting me within 15 seconds? And then you want to give the contract to TJ Swift? And more chances with Swift? It is what it is, and now you have your chance. I'm gonna win. And I'm gonna knock his teeth out. Well, then. Well, while you're trying to make up for a lost time, maybe it's a day late and a dollar short, but hey, Damian Black's got himself a title match at RWA Dynasty, and that's nothing to fret about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this following contest is scheduled for one fall and has a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, comes a man who weighed in at 237 pounds this morning. He is hailing from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. He is your Canadian hero, Dante! And action continues here at RWA Hype. We're about to be joined by not just your Canadian hero, but my Canadian hero. And of course I'm being completely sarcastic when I say that. And he's claiming he's a true Canadian legend when I'm not even sure if he can find Canada on a map, ladies and gentlemen. But nonetheless, we have singles competition here. Dante will be facing none other than T. Phoenix. You can see this crowd here at ringside showing absolutely no love for Dante. Somebody needs to tell this gentleman that respect is not given, it is earned. Welcome back, Bobby Rossi. He whispered you a little sweet nothing right there, didn't he? Uh, I call it a, a sweet something. He's talking about Mr. Phoenix's eating habits. Um, but I, I am not one to judge, as I am quite the fan of the fourth and fifth meal myself. The fourth meal is Taco Bell. Dare, dare I ask what the fifth meal is? Uh, the fifth meal can range between takeout and home cooking. Matter of fact, it's whatever's left at the fridge after the uh, 2 a.m. Pit stops. <coughs> well, coming up next, we have our main event scheduled to be Chris Cruz taking on Jason Devine. And uh, Phoenix taking his time around ringside. He's even going to stop to pet the doggy. And I think the dog just kissed him on the nose. Not only a big, big monster, but a soft guy on the inside.
T. Phoenix not having or buying any bit of the BS coming from Dante, as he's been known to be a balloon full of hot air from time to time, shielding Princess from his uh, abrasive nature. I, I think he was shielding Princess from hurting Dante. She's not one to be messed with. Well, this is true. I'm not one to question Phoenix, but I don't. Is this really necessary? I think the sound guy just started that Blame Canada song. And the crowd goes mild. Whoa, Phoenix with some tricks up his sleeve, pantsing Dante, usually the other way around. Well, Canada neither has talent or pants that fit, apparently. Phoenix getting a quick laugh here before this one can officially get underway. of great Canadians, Dante. I think of Lance Storm. I think of uh, Chris Benoit. I really don't think of you. Nonetheless, we've got action underway. Taking the low road and strangling Phoenix over the top rope. Now he's just booting the hell out of his head. I'm not sure if many kids could look up to this man and think of him as a hero. All right, come on, Moshe. Get assertive, will you? Really, he's hot about that 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 opening. He's very big on respect, and he's going to teach Phoenix a lesson in respect right here. And you see him working over the neck; he's softening it up. He does a lot of a, a lot of offensive maneuvers, focusing on the neck, that swinging neck breaker, the elbow off the top, and there's Phoenix with a gouge to the eyes. He's not above breaking the rules here. I wouldn't necessarily call that a break; more or less a bend. As he whips Dante into the other turnbuckle. Put some stuff, a little bit of momentum here, and misses the big splash. And there's a DDT to boot. We've got a pinfall here. Quick follow-up by Dante only leads to a two count. He did everything right. He hooked the leg and everything. Oh, and there's that swinging neck breaker. Nobody home. Phoenix had it scouted. Off the ropes comes the big man, driving down with a large elbow, a pinfall of his own. And Dante's got his foot on the rope, thus breaking up that count. I think Phoenix is surprised by it. Look, look at the look on his face. And Dante now returning the favor, gouging the eyes right back. commend Dante for standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with, you know, the beast that is known as Phoenix, but I would try chopping this man down from the legs. That'd be my, that'd be my bet. And Phoenix isn't just going to take it. He's firing back with those back elbows. Still not able to knock the big man down. He's got him reeling. while giving him a piece of his mind. And there he goes for that swinging net breaker. He connects this time and gets all of it. Pinfall. And just another two count. It's gonna take a bit more than that to keep the big man down, Dante. And several well-placed kicks around the body. Now just leaning all his weight. Across the back of Phoenix with his shin. And 
This drop to the back of the head by Dante. And Phoenix continuing to fight back as you see there. Dante left him too long of an opportunity, too much of a window. And out of the ring he goes. And you see Princess gouging the eyes on the outside and slapping him and pulling the hair and Phoenix is talking things over with Moshe here. You know, she looks all cute and dainty and innocent, but I'll tell you, there is a hidden mean streak within that young woman. That's what I was trying to tell you before. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I, I was there for last year's dynasty when she put perfume in my eyes. Don't let things go, will you? It left a lasting impression. The nicest you've ever smelled. It left a lasting impression. These shots to the stomach, both men taking it out on one another's midsection. Proving to slow the big man down, but uh, it's not getting him down from the count. Nope, in fact, reverse right there. Fouled up with a big boot. Measuring Dante comes in with a big clothesline. Weebles wobble and fall down. No! Big back elbow. Crowd's starting to come alive with Chance for T. And he's pointing. He's going to go up to the top rope. I don't think this is a wise move on his behalf. Going to fly. Nobody home. Dante rolled through. And I have to say, thank goodness for him. Looking at Pancake City. Got him hooked for that old school plex. Phoenix pushes him away. Super kick, finds the mark, Dante's down. And we've got a three count. Music? Music? T. Phoenix coming out with the victory in this singles contest over a longtime rival in Dante. If I'm not mistaken, that will be Dante's second loss for 2013. That, that is correct. Phoenix now inviting Princess in the ring to celebrate a bit. You can still see, feeling the ill effects of that, that beating that he took. of sportsmanship as he didn't continue the bout after the bell. Good showing. Kudos to T. Phoenix. Well, we're going to go backstage. Rob Massey actually in the studio, your studio, and uh, let's take it to him right now. Job stealing prank 